Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is our first vlog. I know it's a little late for September, but yeah, here we go. Paul's always been on board for this. I have not, but this is how I got roped into it. Mm hmm Network. You want to join the vlog network? No one up. No, no yeah. How was we gonna stay connected? Okay. She's in for the vlog network. Jesus Christ! What else do you need? So we thought it'd be fun because we don't get to talk to all of you all the time. We're going to ask each other questions so you can learn more about how we're doing and what we think. I'm first. So, Paul. These are live reactions, by the way. I don't know what she's yeah. going to ask me. What is it like living at the Giles? Mm, great question. It's great. I love it. Stephen and Emily are great hosts. Um, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's kind of, it's been a weird transition out of household, um, without all the guys, but it's, uh, it's been a sweet picture into life of the future. Yeah. Um, hanging out with Ezra has just been amazing. Ezra's great. Yeah. He, uh, he was starting to get a handle on my name, like, we would try and teach him how, like, how to say it, and he started off as Bop. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> and then I got promoted to Pa. Pa is a huge promotion. It's a big promotion. Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, he managed to string Bobai and Pa together the other day when I was leaving. It was a beautiful moment. Mm -hmm. What did it sound like? Bobai Pa. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah. So it's great. Yeah. yeah. There's some, some great quality of life. Um, mm -hmm. I've never had a queen bed before. It's very exciting. I am. Mm -hmm. Steven just started making sourdough bread, which is, his first one was, was good, and I think it's only going to get better from yeah. there. So. Yeah, so true. It's great. Yeah, it's fun to watch him do it. For a while there, there were like little starters, like sourdough bread starters, like in every cupboard of the house. Yeah. You would like open a cupboard and up, oh, sourdough starters. Yeah. Yeah. Steve would like move it around to try and see where the warmest spot was to mm -hmm. try and help the fermentation. Mm -hmm. It was like me and Emily were joking that it was his third child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally. It's great. It's a yeah. lot of fun. Yeah. But yeah, I love it. Good. Okay, Haley. What is your favorite thing about living with your parents? Oh. And why? My favorite thing, honestly, is that I live a minute and a half away from my work. <laughs> It's just been the best. So I'll like, I'll I'll be working at four thirty a.m. or sometimes I work at until nine thirty p.m. So like I'll either work the morning or the evening, and I'll wake up for the morning shift at like four twenty, and get there with a couple minutes to spare. It's great. I love that. It's my favorite. Also, they do all of my grocery shopping for me. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's been really good. Yeah. That's sweet. Yep, so I just like come home every lunch break and just like make soup and bread because I love soup and bread. Yeah. It's great. Okay. So my last question is that a couple of people have been pressuring you to join a rugby league. Are you actually interested in how do you feel about them asking? It's <laughs> a great question. Um... Am I actually interested? Yes. Am I a little bit nervous? Also, yes. <laughs> yeah. Like I've not, I've not played. I've played some, but I've not played a lot of like full tackle rugby. Yeah. Um, but I love the game. Yeah. Um, it's a good and game. yeah, there's something. There's something really good. I just find a lot of. Like contact sports, it's just really fun. There's something yeah. about it, especially as like yeah. growing up as someone who never like got to play football. Um, like American football. American football. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had like I did six years of karate when I was a kid, so I was like 
that was where I trained and like yeah there's something there's something just really good about being able to like go toe to toe with someone like that so yeah. I'm I'm genuinely interested I don't the season we're in at the moment I think it's just pretty unlikely that I I should go because they they're great guys and if I go once I know I'm gonna want to go again I yeah. think and so mm-hmm. like if there's just too many things on my plate right now so you know maybe next semester if you got onto the field and someone started to come at you mm-hmm. you could just like karate chop them yeah that's a foul <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> theoretically correct theoretically. it would be very entertaining to see a rugby game where you could just fight people <laughs> instead of tackling them I don't know how I love this idea really <laughs> <laughs> nothing would get done <laughs> okay great okay my question is if you were your manager at Starbucks oh. what thing would you change in Mm. I would put everybody onto a consistent schedule so that it's the same every week with like small changes Mm. instead of like your schedule being all over the place. You're needing to like switch your sleep schedule because this is happening to many people. Um, yeah, I would, I would definitely do that. That would be my biggest switch. Yeah. Otherwise I have a good manager. So yeah. Yeah. So you'd have everyone, like, work the same days every week, same time mm-hmm. of hours? Yeah. Do you think that's possible? Yeah, other managers have done it for me, and that was really nice in the past, and I think yeah. that made working at Starbucks more sustainable. Mm-hmm. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. It's at any given, on any given day, at any given time, I just have no idea how tired or awake you're going to be. Yeah. It's very random. Yeah. When I get tired, I get silent. And so Paul's been needing to deal with that. It's Ask fine. really good questions. <laughs> so I actually start talking. <laughs> anyway. It's great. Yeah. Awesome, guys. Well, now you know a little bit more about what's been going on. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, we figured we'd just show you in a montage some of the stuff that we've done and yeah. had going on. Um, got some, some Ezra clips. Um, <laughs> Yeah, just stuff we've been doing. So enjoy. Thanks for watching and see you next month. And as Ezra would say, bye bye. <laughs> Squad rolling up. Got Travioli, Missy, Brian, all in a row. We're even on time for work. Would you imagine that? Ezra, what size is it? The trash man? Yeah, it's probably because. Well, no, it's probably just because they say, well, that's, yeah. that's two people can sleep there, so you might have to put in like three people so that it. Ezra, what's that? Yeah. It's the trash. Are you going to say bye bye to the trash man? Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, that might be easier. Bye-bye, trash man. Uh, I'm not...